let's go ahead and work out this problem. So we're going to be using laws of exponents to simplify this and make sure our final answer contains only positive exponents. So, so before I take care of this exponent that I see, I'm gonna go ahead and simplify the inside right here. So here I have a B here and a B here. So those by laws of exponents, we can simplify them. So uh, recall one of the laws of exponents that if you have, let's say, um, x to the n power over x to the m power, you can keep the base and subtract their exponents. So using that rule, we're going to simplify. So this is to the negative second power. We have 2a3. So we have b to the 1 on top and b to the negative 2. Using that rule, this is b to the 1 minus negative 2. So that would be b to the positive 3. So that's what I'm going to write right here. And now we can move on to the next um, expression right here. That one, we can just drop the parentheses. So this is um, just times a, 4a, and b to the negative 1. This can go on top. We're using another laws of exponents. This will just be b to the 1 on top. There's nothing on the bottom. We can replace it as 1. Now let's go ahead and distribute the exponents to everything we have inside this parentheses right here. So this will give us 2 to the negative second power, a to the negative second power, b to the 3 to the negative second power, all over 3 to the negative second power, and rewrite the next uh, expression for a, b, all over 1. So now let's make them positive. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, first multiply these out. So that will give you, so let's write everything in one uh, fraction. You have 2 to the negative 2, a to the negative 2, b to the negative 6. We multiply the exponents for a, b, all over 3 to the negative 2. Now here we're going to be recalling another laws. So if you have, um, let's say, x to the negative n power, this can be written as 1 over x to the positive exponent on the bottom, which means these are going to move on the bottom. And similarly, this will move on top so that the exponents are positive. So we have, so 3 to the positive 2, that will be on top. And we still have 4ab because those exponents are positive. And then the remaining ones in the front will be on the bottom. Now they have positive exponents, 2 to the square a to the second power, b to the sixth power. Now let's go ahead and simplify this further. So three squared, well, that's nine. We still have four, a times b, and two squared, that's gonna be four, a squared times b to the six. And now let's go ahead and simplify further. Here I can cancel the fours. And here with the a's, using the laws we wrote down before, we can, subtract their exponent. So you'll have the following. This is nine on top, four cancels out. So for a over a squared, that's simply a to the one minus two, that's a to the negative one. So instead of writing a to the negative one here, I'm gonna put it on the bottom. So that would just be a. Now for the b's, we'll do the same thing. You have b to the one over b to the six. This is b to the 1 minus 6, which is b to the negative 5. Again, instead of writing it here, we'll make it a positive. So that will go on the bottom. And that will be our final simplified answer.